Alright, hold on. Welcome back to How to Make a Batman Cowl. I will be going over the cardboard cutting and gluing in this bit. And, um, yeah, here we go. I added, I put the paper um, onto the cardboard and cut out the cardboard. Pretty much just repeating the cutting process. It's, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, the cool thing about this design, rather the Dark Knight one, I think I has is this one's only five different pieces. There's two eye pieces, two cheek pieces, and um, one nose piece. And that's all for this one. It's just three pieces, really simple, easy to keep track of. It's not like uh, 13 or whatever different pieces, and it's a lot harder. This one's way easier. So, yeah, first we're gonna go over the how to glue everything together. So I have two of the chin pieces right here and uh, once you get everything cut out uh, just kinda look at it show you guys what it should look like anyway once you get it cut out you're gonna take the pattern and uh, kinda just put it back over the piece of cardboard to make sure you got everything right Every uh, everything is cut properly and these little dotted lines you'll see a lot in the pattern those are for uh, crease marks you're supposed to make like a crease mark basically just take like a spoon or scissors or your nail and just kind of crease the cardboard or foam or whatever you're using and um, I just cut it to save on time I'm sorry it's so long I'm just not really good at the whole editing thing I would have made a, uh, a shorter video but the editing nah not good editing with this uh, software anyway I'm just taking these scissors and this was a very stupid idea right here yeah I kind of just pushed it inwards and I almost cut my finger so I had to close it up. I just used my finger now because this wasn't working for me. So I just used my thumbnail to kind of bend it into place. And there we go. That's that. And I kind of creased it down here as well. And then I creased it there. I should have cut that out but I forgot to. But uh, yeah. So you just want to make sure that you bend it in a certain way so all the edges and corners are flush and even so that you know it fits perfectly and this is kind of how it fits right here if you can kind of see that I'm sorry for the bad lighting uh, I was trying to rush through this whole thing because the video the movie was coming out soon and yeah you just kind of glue that together kind of even that out and you know you just kind of crease the cardboard at each individual cut and these little like uh, teeth area areas are supposed to fold together so I'm just kind of folding two spots together so I can tape them together so I can glue them together so they can just uh, stay as a bend yeah here I am just kind of uh, taping it this was incredibly difficult you can see where I failed right there I'm not sure if you can see it but uh, it's like right before the ear piece right underneath the first ear piece the hot glue didn't um, actually work so I started with this area over here instead uh, I'm just kind of taking off the glue trying to work with uh, one hand and have the other hand creasing the cardboard so the tape doesn't just like fly off and the tape wasn't easy to cut either but yeah if you have a uh, thinner cardboard I'd recommend that or even foam the last mask I made was just uh, two layers of foam sheets uh, the thick cardboard is a lot harder to use but it's not impossible and the thin cardboard like cereal box cardboard it's a lot easier to manipulate manipulate and I'm just putting uh, hot glue in there, you just kind of repeat the process for all those little ridges and stuff like that. And I'd wait uh, 20 to 30 seconds before pressing the glue in with your thumb to seal it up. And here I just kind of glued all the pieces together. I'm just gluing in this side right now. And pretty much anywhere there's a gap you're going to want to close it up by, you know, connecting the edges. That'll give it the curve and, um, you know, the shape. And like I said, 20 or 30 seconds and then press it in or even if you have like a thing of tape on your hands press it in like that but I burnt myself quite a few times and my brother is holding the camera at this point because my tripod broke the thing that holds it in place um, yeah it broke off it doesn't connect anymore it just kind of like flim it's flimsy it kind of just falls down so I had my brother hold it up and I'm just putting glue in between the two ear pieces to line them up make sure they're together. Sorry for the background stuff. I'm just adding hot glue. Yeah, so my tripod breaking was the first of the disasters that happened with uh, the making of this video.
and yeah, just kind of working with the cardboard to make sure everything's all even, evenly spaced, evenly shaped. Now we're going to get on to the eyes. The eyes were extremely difficult to figure out for me, so in case you have any difficulty with this too, I'm just going to let you, um, I'm going to advise you to pause it when I have uh, flattened everything out so you can kind of see what should be cut and what shouldn't be. I forgot to add that there's another crease mark on the third ear piece uh, to the right. And so you can kind of cut everything out right there, just follow the pattern. And you get something like this. You can see where the crease is on the ear and how the eye looks and how everything fits on. I kind of do a little bit of shaping and bending in here, but um, for some reason the footage didn't, didn't really capture too well. I kind of lost some of the footage, but uh, yeah, I'm trying. So I'm just kind of working with the cardboard, kind of creasing it, bending it into place. And you can almost see how everything goes together. If not, you can go back to the part where I showed the piece off and kind of study it a little bit right right here. I know the tape's all over it, but you kind of see how it fit, how everything fits. Once you have the uh, cheek piece and the eye piece, you kind of have to line them together like a puzzle. This whole thing is like a big puzzle. You kind of just have to glue them together, work with it, be patient with it. And if you have to, you can use a thing of scissors to cut off the glue or a little bit of the cardboard. Not too much because you don't want to make it so it doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, but you just kind of work with it, hot glue it into place, and boom! I'm sorry, boom! Come on, cut. Any second now. There we go. And I have all the pieces glued up except for the back. The back was extremely tricky. I actually cut it off, ended up cutting off uh, too short. And uh, I was charging my uh, two other things. I had the hot glue gun running and something else. That's why I had the light on. And now I have the light on right here. And I have the whole mask uh, done except for the chin piece and the nose, which I will do in just a second. And you can see right there where I didn't cut it fully. And if you want a longer video, of me just hot gluing it. I thought it would take too long, so I don't think I'm going to do that actually, but you can kind of see where the eyes are. And uh, yeah, it took me about a full day to do this whole thing. I'm pretty sure it would take someone else a lot faster. Here's me just kind of hot gluing in the nose. My hot glue gun actually broke after this recording, or yeah, right after this, my hot glue gun broke and I couldn't do any more work, so it kind of just, yeah, it's another thing that happened trying to make this video. So I'm just kind of holding the nose in place. You kind of have to crease the nose piece too so it fits in there. I actually ended up putting it in the wrong space and it actually points out way too much. So just kind of work with it and try to learn from my mistakes if you're making this. I also added a piece of elastic right there to flex the chin. Anyway, that's all for this part. Join me for part two where I'll talk about painting and all that stuff. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.